Okay, so what we have here is Intel's first uh, fully programmable teraflop chip. What this is is it's a this is a representation of 80 tiles, which basically can be thought of as compute cores. And what we have here is in each tile we have a router and a processing element. Uh, this is the working prototype of the design. You can see right here underneath this copper block is the uh, actual processor run currently running, and these are the power cables and, and peripheral uh, uh, devices that we need to run it, such as the clock, reference clock, and things like that. What I'm showing here is we're running an application called the uh, Partial Differential Equation Solver. And right, right now it's running at one teraflop as a peak performance. And you can see we're running at three giga, uh, yeah, we're running at three gigahertz at about one volt. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reinitialize the chip at a higher frequency and a higher voltage, and we'll try to hit two teraflops. As you can see, we've got we've doubled the we've doubled the frequency, and we've also increased the voltage, and we're now able to hit two teraflops. However, our the, the, the power dissipation that we have to dissipate, or the power we have to dissipate now, is almost quadrupled from our one teraflop. So that's one of the drawbacks of running at these high high performance. Is we we're seeing we're at the exponential curve on our power per uh, processing uh, curve. So.